Instant Text on the Envision app. Hello everyone, my name is Farrakhan from Envision and today I'm going to talk about the Instant Text feature on the Envision app. So what is the Instant Text? With Instant Text, you can read short pieces of text instantly that appear in front of you. The Instant Text feature uses a video feed to speak out anything that is in front of the camera. So when to use Instant Text? Instant Text is being used for a lot of short pieces of text that is around you. So that can be outside when you're traveling by train, whether it's a room number, any signs that are appearing in front of you. Or one example that I see a lot from our customers is when they get a lot of mail in the post box and they quickly want to uh, scan through all of the uh, all of the mail and see if it's any spam or if it's important then they use the instant text and then what we see a lot is that okay if you found the email the mail that you want to read uh, and if it's a letter that you want to read or any uh, magazine a book or something like that for those things I definitely recommend using the scan text feature instead so now that you know what instant text is being used for or when to use it let's go over a few scenarios that are most uh, applicable for you so that also in those scenarios, I will also talk about uh, the options that you can set for the instant text, such as the online or the offline mode, or secondly, the language detection, whether you want to have that enabled or disabled. These scenarios are recommended ways of using instant text for your situation. So let's start with the first scenario where you want to read any text that is in the same language as your phone's language. So in my case, my phone is in English and I want to read this piece of text that I have here that is in English. So what I do is I go to the read tab on the Envision app and I tap on the right top on the read preferences. In the read preference, I make sure that my offline instant text is enabled or on and I make sure that the language detection is disabled. If that is the case for you as well, you can tap on the back button, which will bring you back to the instant text button to the read tab uh, section. So right now, when I tap on the instant text, the preferred language will appear on top of the instant text button. And in my case, because it's my default phone's language, it will be in English, so I don't need to do any changes for that. So I grab my text, I hold it in front of the camera, and then I tap on the Instant Text button. Quick Start Guide 1. Download and install the Envision app 2. Log into your Envision account if you're a new user. Great. Keep in mind there are a few languages that do not support offline Instant Text yet. These languages are for instance Arabic, Russian, Hebrew, Thai, and a few more. If that is the case for you, you can go to scenario 3 and I will explain to you how you can instant text in your case. Now let's go to the second scenario where I want to read a piece of text that is different than my phone's language. So in my case my phone is in English, but often I want to read a lot of Dutch pieces of text for instance. So what I do now, I go to the again to the read tab preferences, but this time I will explain it with voiceover enabled. Voiceover on, envision. Magnify instant text. So right button. now I'm on the instant text button and I swipe left. Read preferences button. And it goes to the read preferences button. I double tap on read preferences. Offline instant text. Back button. So right now if you swipe to the right. Offline instant text. So as I said earlier, the offline instant text should be enabled. And if you swipe right to the language detection, that one should be disabled. Once you're sure those are back the settings button. for you as well, you can go to the back button and double tap to go back to the read tab. Back button. Magnifier, button, instant text, button. Now let's go back to the instant text. And as I said earlier, there's gonna be a preferred languages button appearing once you tap on the instant text button. So I'm gonna double tap on the instant text button. Selected. I instant swipe text. left. Preferred language, English. But as you hear, um, it will say preferred language, English. I double tap on that button. Search languages, search field. It will immediately go to the search languages field. And right now I can search for Dutch. Search field. So, Katy. Katy. You. You. T. T. Y. Dutch. Button. Once you uh, put in the language that you want, for me that's Dutch, it will appear in the top of the list. So now it says Dutch, and I will double tap on that language. Alert. Your preferred language for offline instant text is set to Dutch. Selected. So, instant text. Button. Instant text. Let me turn off instant text quickly to explain a bit more. So right now, what you just hear is that the preferred language is set to Dutch. So right now what I'm going to do is I have this Dutch piece of text that I have here and I'm going to read that with the instant text. I'm going to double tap on instant text and my preferred language is set to Dutch and then hold the camera or make sure that the flyer is in front of the camera. 
Hello en 25% korting op je favoriete items. Scan de code om je aanbieding in. Instant text. Keep in mind, I'm using an iPhone here, so if you're an Android user, make sure that the TTS engine supports the language that you're trying to read. And secondly, as mentioned in the first scenario, if the language uh, that you're trying to read is not supported offline, such as the Russian, Arabic, Hebrew or Thai, I would recommend you go to go to the next scenario where I'll explain a bit more about that use case. Finally, let's go to the third scenario where I want to read multiple pieces of text in different languages. But this scenario is also for people who have a language that is not supported offline, such as with Arabic, or if you don't know what the language is in the text that you want to read. So in this case, what I do is I'm going to read preferences again, and I'll uh, read preferences. So with offline instant text, I'm going to disable it, or uh, turn it off, and I'm going to enable language detection. Once I've done that, I can tap on the back button again, and make sure that I'm back in the read tab. In this case, I have two covers here, and I know that uh, both magazines, one is Chinese and the other one is Arabic. And I'm going to read both of the magazines and see what it is about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the instant text button and hold the book in front of the camera. Perfect. As you can hear, it's reading out in Arabic. And now I'm going to try this Chinese magazine that I have. So this is everything that you need to know to get started with the instant text feature on the Envision app. I do want to go over one more possible scenario where there are people that want to use the instant text by reading a non-Latin script in combination with a Latin script. This is the case for many of our customers from India who are trying to read Hindi uh, together with English for instance. So in this scenario I'm going to explain how to do that as well. So I tap on read preferences and I make sure that language detection is disabled and that the offline instant text is enabled. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on instant text and I'm going to the preferred language. It is still on the Dutch one because of the previous scenario, but in this case I'm going to change it to the uh, non-Latin script, so to the Hindi one. So I search for Hindi and I tap on Hindi. It will also give me a message that my preferred language is now set to Hindi. So right here I have an article that is in Hindi and English and I'm going to try to read it with the instant text feature. So I point the camera on the text. Sri Lanka the team I this HRG life that series ke liye Sri Lanka team ka elan team bade khiladi bahar. And as you can hear it recognizes both the English and Hindi and is spoken out in a Hindi accent. So those are the four scenarios for the instant text feature. So the first scenario where you want to read the same language the second one where you read, want to read a different language, the third one where you want to read all kinds of different uh, pieces of text in different languages, and finally the fourth one if you're trying to read a non-Latin script with a Latin script language. Finally, there are three more minor things that I want to mention. Firstly, is about the language detection. Language detection uses AI to switch between the languages, so it might not always be 100% accurate. Secondly, depending on your internet connection, the results of the online instant text might be more accurate, whereas the results of the offline instant text are much faster. And finally, if you're trying to read long text, so let's say documents, letters, or books, I recommend using the scan text feature. So this was all about instant text on the Envision app. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you now know how to use instant text even better. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support at letsenvision.com and we'll happily answer all of your questions. This is Farrakhan from Envision. Have a lovely day. This was Instant Text on the Envision app. For more information, go to letsenvision.com.